Millions of your tax dollars are being spent each year weatherizing the homes of those in need. But Fox 11 investigates found the work is not always what's been promised. In fact, a state audit revealed 80% of the homes checked had at least one deficiency in the work done. This evening, Fox 11 investigates, uncovers one homeowner who says repairs only made his home worse. Here's what Fox 11's Mark Leland has uncovered. So that would leak down here, go drip, drip. Go After 37 years, Jerry Monson's trailer home in Appleton had developed a few leaks in the roof. See right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Vietnam okay. veteran with health issues and only $700 a month in Social Security, Monson contacted the Outagamie County Housing Authority's Weatherization Services. The program weatherizes homes of low-income residents for free. It's part of the state's Home Energy Plus program run through the Department of Administration. Monson filled out a pre-inspection questionnaire clearly stating his problem, a leaky roof. Then inspectors arrived. If you can fix the roof, I says, uh, let's keep on going, do the whole, sh the whole job. But if you can't do that, do nothing. He said, no, we're going to do this. Work began last summer. A bathroom fan was installed, new light bulbs, and crews went up on the roof to blow insulation into the space above the ceiling. Monson says the fix to the leaky roof was then to paint on a sealant. Well, they, they, I've got a new refrigerator. I've got a new furnace. Uh, the hot water heater, they just uh, put a blanket on it. Mm -hmm. But your initial complaint was you had a leaky roof. Yes, yes. Yeah. Is that better or worse today? It's, it's, it's completely shot. Monson complained, and he says crews returned on two occasions to reapply different sealants on the roof. They even left behind spare sealants. But Monson says the leaks just got worse. He showed us where the new leak in the living room caved in the ceiling with the new rain-soaked insulation. And the bedroom wasn't much better. No matter what else they did, weatherizing the unit here, it, it doesn't do any good. It's really a waste of money if you're still having a problem with the uh, leakage from the roof. Right, right. The Outagamie County Housing Authority's weatherization program is prohibited from releasing specific information on its clients. The program's director, though, tells me on average $9,500 was spent on each of the 137 homes it weatherized last contract year. The total spent by Outagamie County's program, more than $1.3 million. That's taxpayer money and additional money utilities charge customers to help the low income. John Gillespie is a taxpayer and friend helping Monson. He contacted Fox 11 about Monson's situation. Total waste of tax money, absolutely. Right. Yeah. I mean, you just, and you wonder if it happened here, who's monitoring to watch uh, where, where else it might be happening? Well, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Fox 11 Investigates turned up a recent legislative audit on the state's weatherization assistance program run by DOA. The audit reviewed 251 home inspection reports from 2011 to 2013. Of those, it found 80% had at least one instance of incomplete or unsatisfactory weatherization work as identified by DOA or its contractors. Deficiencies were corrected in those homes, but the report indicates only a small percentage of homes received such inspections. A DOA spokeswoman told Fox 11 Investigates, if the state receives a complaint about services received from a local weatherization agency, we gather information from both the agency and the household. This can include an on-site visit to the home. Once we have gathered the necessary information, we determine the next steps to reach resolution. And then on the roof. In Monson's case, complaints to the state were referred to the Outagamie County Weatherization Services, which sent this letter to Monson stating, we insulated your roof. We did not repair the leaks that were already there. Program director Steve Williams goes on to say, I do understand your frustration, but I must follow program specifications. We will not be able to do any of the roof repair work on your home. But remember, the roof was painted with that sealant on three different occasions by a worker named Travis. Williams had declined to sit down with us to answer our questions on camera, so we tracked Williams down coming out of the Housing Authority building. Named Travis. Um, came by multiple times, three different occasions, to paint uh, different stuff on the roof to, to try and protect and, and to seal it. Help them. Yeah. yeah. So that was done. He did go by and, and try to help them, yes. Okay. Uh, After the job has been reported. Do you mind not pointing that near me? Williams agreed to continue talking off camera. That's when I asked, why would the program approve spending money to blow insulation in the ceiling of a roof that was known to leak? Williams admitted that was strange, but declined to elaborate. 
After Fox 11 investigates raised concerns about the weatherization program with the state, specifically about the work done on Monson's home, an inspection crew was dispatched out of Madison to take another look. Basically, they're told to come out and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, assess the situation mm -hmm. and bring back information. It is an unusual situation, mm -hmm. yes. The director of the Outagamie County Housing Authority, also on site for that state inspection, indicates structural damage to the mobile home occurred when workers were on the roof. His workers or other workers, it's hard to say. Jim Lincoln says state officials essentially told him Outagamie County should be responsible. The housing authority has contacted its insurance carrier to assess the mobile home and is changing its policy to respond quicker to such time-sensitive complaints. As for Monson, he's waiting for a resolution while reviewing his options, but still living in that mold-infested mobile home. As for the legislative audit of the weatherization program, the Department of Administration has until next month to respond to the recommendations for improvements that auditors suggested. For Fox 11 Investigates, I'm Mark Leland. Now, Mark will keep us posted on the response to the audit as well as what happens with Monson's home. In the meantime, a fund has been set up to assist Monson with short-term housing needs. And to learn more about the fund and Monson's story, you can find a link attached to the story on our website at fox11online.com.